Dennis Lehane is the author of such acclaimed bestsellers as Mystic River and Shutter Island. His new book, The Given Day, is set during the 1918 Boston police strike and features such characters as Babe Ruth. I'm Bob Hughes of the Wall Street Journal, here with Dennis Lehane. Hi, Howard. Hi. Thanks for uh, coming here. Oh, no Tell me a little bit about uh, what led you to doing this book. It's a bit of a departure for you. Yeah, I, I, it was it was an event that I'd always been interested in. Uh, the Boston Police Strike. You sort of grow up, you hear about it. Kind of, it's a it's a ghost event in the back of your um, in your back of your life if you grow up in Boston. It's just a it's a reference. So um, I just began to look into it. And uh, what was it about it that drew you to it dramatically? It's a sweeping historical moment. Well, the, the entire police department walked off the job, and then the city was under army command for four months. I thought that's rather interesting. You know, I mean, that's sort of how you have to go in. And then I stumbled across uh, one um, very small event in the in the in the grand scheme of things. But to me, it was this is why I got to write the book, which was there was a an actual bona fide um, cavalry charge, like you see in old John Ford westerns, down Beacon Hill into uh, Scully Square, and I just went, I, ha I have to write this now. I have to. You know. So it's not necessarily a crime novel, it's an historical novel with a lot of drama. Yeah, and it's about, I, I think if there's a contract with the reader per se, I, the, the contract I have with my reader is that I will write urban books and I will write books that have some consideration of violence, some consideration of, of of lawlessness, if you will. That doesn't mean I have to write a mystery, I have to write a crime novel, I have to write... So, this is a novel that's about a moment when the entire police department walked off the job, lawlessness ensued, etc. What were the decisions that went into that? And it's also, I think, very close to my heart because it's a novel about unions. I see. And, and the union movement, the first big flowering of the union movement in the United States. And it has historical figures like Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, uh, let's see, uh, really young J. Edgar Hoover's in it, um, uh, Eugene O'Neill, trying to think who else pops in. Uh, Calvin Coolidge, uh, Attorney General Mitchell Palmer, Attorney General of the United States. Um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt makes a tiny little appearance. So yeah, it's like that. Beyond this book, are you working on any other projects? That uh, no, I tend to uh, empty the well so completely that, it, that I sit around for several months waiting for the beginning of a, a tiny little puddle of water to kind of come through the bottom. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm waiting for that puddle. Okay, so. great. Well, thanks for being with us. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm Bob Hughes of the Wall Street Journal, here with Dennis Lehane.